Hello, my name's Leone and I'm an English literature student at the University of Reading. This screencast will be talking to you about the poem In an Artist's Studio by Christina Rossetti. Rossetti was born in 1830 and died in 1894. She was a 19th century English poet who wrote a variety of poems which encompassed the themes of love, desire, morality and death. In an Artist's Studio is a poem which focuses on male desire and the representation of women as objects of the male gaze. The poem itself reads, One face looks out from all his canvases, One self-same figure sits or walks or leans, We found her hidden just behind those screens, That mirror gave back all her loveliness, A queen in opal or in ruby dress, A nameless girl in freshest summer greens, A saint, an angel, every canvas means the same one meaning, neither more nor less. He feeds upon her face day and night, and she with true kind eyes looks back on him. Fair as the moon and joyful as the light, not one with waiting, not with sorrow dim, not as she is, but was when hope shone bright, not as she is, but as she fills his dream. This poem is a sonnet. It is made up of fourteen lines and is written in iambic pentameter. Sonnets are traditionally synonymous with love and romance, however Rossetti challenges the sonnet form by writing about ob obsession and female oppression. The male gaze is typically related to the world of art. Women are seen as muses, presented as beautiful creatures that are looked at from afar, often unattainable and out of reach of the male onlooker. In the poem, women are compared to art. They are admired, yet voiceless and confined within a certain space. This is representative of the restrictions placed on women in patriarchal society. Rossetti plays with the convention of the male gaze, as the woman in the poem also stares back at the artist, her eyes following his movements. Furthermore, the narrator of the poem is unknown, which creates a voyeuristic tension between who is watching and who is being watched. The woman in the poem is not given an identity. She is described as one face, one self-same figure, or a nameless girl. The descriptions of the woman are purely aesthetic, and the onlooker indulges in her beauty. The poem begins, One face looks out from all his canvases, One self-same figure sits or walks or leans. The opening lines of the poem present the female character depicted in the paintings. The, wim the woman is described as a figure. She is statue-like, an object of the male gaze with no identity of her own. The artist in the poem is described as feeding on the woman's face by day and night. The female figure is consumed by the onlooker who has painted her true kind eyes to look back on him. The poem finishes... Not as she is, but was when hope shone bright. Not as she is, but as she fills his dream. The closing lines of the poem suggest that the woman depicted is a figure of the artist's imagination, or a distant woman who he appears obsessed with. Her image fills his dream, leaving no room for other thoughts. However, the woman is not shown as she is, but how the artist wants her to be, symbolising the oppression of women in a male-dominated society. I hope that this screencast has helped with your understanding of Rossetti's poem, and thank you for watching.